What's up, guys? Scotty2Hockey here, a.k.a. The Average Hockey Fan once again. And The Athletic has reported the Montreal Canadiens may have interest in San Jose defenseman Mark Edward Vlasic, a Montreal native, an Olympic gold medalist, a career top four defenseman in San Jose, an older player who has a pretty big cap hit, but he is still one hell of a player. But on the downslope from everything I've heard from San Jose fans. So I asked, uh, I asked fans on Twitter, would you like to see Montreal trade for Vlasic from San Jose? If so, what would be a fair trade in your opinion? I'm going to be doing a video on fan thoughts on this subject. Comments may get featured, and there were a lot of comments, guys. So if I missed your comment, I'm sorry. Mark Edward Vlasic, he was born in Montreal, Quebec, 1987. He shoots left. He's 32 years old, 6 foot tall, 205 pounds. He's a left-handed defenseman. And he's an excellent top four defenseman. He is kind of on the downslope if you look at his point total. So far in seven games this season, he has no points. But in his career, in a 14-year career, he has 927 games played, 67 goals, 244 assists, 311 points, and he's a career plus 24. But last year, in 72 games played, he had three goals, 22 assists, 25 points, was a minus six. Which, points-wise, isn't bad, I guess, but you look at some of his career highs. In 2015-2016, he had 39 points. Another time, he had, uh, well, 39 was his career high. I believe he only hit 30 twice, but 25 for Vlasic isn't the best. So the very first response I got on Twitter was, As a Sharks fan, if Montreal takes this trade, it'll be crushing to the Habs. He is slow and has always looked good because he has played with Burns or Carlson. A stay-at-home D-man, I get Olympics and Gars de Chez new, but man. Dane on Twitter says, if they retain some early salary, maybe. Uh, that's the only way Montreal would take Vlasic. They'd have to give away some players that would eat up some cap for sure, and they'd have the, San Jose would have to retain salaries. Cap hit is just too high. Stephen Lee says, absolutely not. If his contract was expiring in 2022, I'd understand the idea, but he signed for another four years. Beyond that, at $7 million, the Habs would have loads of defensive prospects who will be ready for important roles then. Trading Vlasic just doesn't make sense, and I can't say I disagree with him. Habs, Habs, Habs says, I don't think he is a fit for Weber at all. Might be a decent fit with Petrie, but I would not give up what San Jose would expect in return. That said, he had one heck of an NHL career. He is a very good top four defenseman, just not worth what he gets paid right now, in my opinion. Burge Burge Jeffrey on and sidekick Clyde says two Montreal Vlasic, two San Jose, Brook, and a second round pick. I don't think San Jose would do that personally. Or, and he says, or two Montreal Vlasic, two San Jose, Osner, and a first round pick. So all San Jose would be getting in that trade is a first round pick and a really, really out of shape and not good anymore, Carl Osner. So I don't see him doing that either. But hey, it would be great if it happened. Uh, me on Twitter says, nope. Plus, bad feeling about this guy. Very, very opinionated. NHLPA lover. Best years behind him in this league. I guess that covers it. Now, I haven't heard this about him myself, personally. But uh, a couple people on my Twitter did say he's a very opinionated player. Mike Vini says, not a chance in hell. The contract is going to be real ugly in the latter years. And, it's po and possibly sooner. So we have Shea Weber, who's another aging defenseman, who's still good in my opinion. But his contract could hurt the Habs in years to come as well. Sean Spritty Nuts on Twitter says, No thank you. If we were going to go after an older D-man, Markov would have been a perfect fit. He knows the system and has 1,000 games, etc. But Vlasic, $7 million per, way too much. I, I hear you. Fabio Fleming on Twitter says, No way in hell. If I'm Mark Bergevin, Vlasic has a $7 million contract and is on the decline. I see no reason to bring in an aging defender now when he clearly rejected Andre Merk Markov wanting a return to Montreal for less money. Dots don't connect here. Won't happen and never will. Norm St. Germain says, Hopefully, Montreal stays away from Albatross contracts. Short and sweet, Norm don't want him bringing in older players on longer term when they have all these younger players. I know what Norm's saying there. And Talking Habs on uh, Twitter, one of my good buddies has a great YouTube channel as well. Check it out. says, San Jose isn't taking Osner with that contract. Even if they do, Vlasic is too old. For six years left at $7 million, and the price is too rich, and the term is too long. We already have one aging D-man with a long, expensive contract. Pretty much exactly what I was saying about Shea Weber. And last but not least, 
Marcellus, 38 at Marcellus, says we need a goal scorer first. We have a goal scorer in the pipeline, Cole Caulfield. In my opinion, without a doubt, that kid's going to be phenomenal. Maybe a year or two, maybe even three, but we got a goal scorer coming in the pipeline. So I don't think Montreal really desperately needs to go out and trade for a goal scorer unless they're really struggling this year and can't score goals. But in my personal opinion, what I think they would do with Vlasic, and I also have to mention Vlasic has a no-movement clause, so even if the trade did happen, it would be up to him whether or not he wants to go there. But I think as much as I like Vlasic and as good of a player as he is, this really does make no sense. We have young prospects that are going to have to be re-signed. They're eventually going to come into Montreal and play. Their entry-level contract is going to end. And if they're really good, they're obviously going to get a pretty significant raise. We already have good young players like Domi, Kakaniemi. They have to be re-signed. Domi has to be extended this year. Kakaniemi has to be re-signed in 2021. We have a ton of contracts coming up in 2021, uh, like Brendan Gallagher, Philip Deneau. It just doesn't make sense. It could really, really cripple the team for the future. Unless somehow they were trading Shea Weber, which I would not want to see happen. It just doesn't make sense. So let me know what you think on this, guys. Uh, but apparently the Habs fans have spoken and they don't like this trade. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and of course, have a great day. Scotty to Hockey, aka the Average Hockey Fan, over and out.